what's up hello y'all welcome back to the complicated entertainment channel if you are new to the channel mm -mm -mm -mm, you in for a treat okay um go ahead and subscribe but yes let's go ahead and get right into today's video first things first y'all we're going to be going ahead and get into um miss megan stallion okay apparently megan stallion has dropped her newest album as you all may or may not know uh, but we are now looking at her second week projection well not <laughs> not projection baby we're looking at her second week um you know sales all right for this album all right child people thought it was going to go up people thought it was going to go boost to the sky people thought that this album was going to you know make up for the bad first week okay uh because as you all may or might not know but she does have a you know viral song out right now okay um i don't know the name i don't know how to say it. i'm not getting into all that but she does have a viral song out now and it's on tiktok all right um megan the stallions megan is predicted to fall six spots on the billboard 200 from number three to number nine, with a projected 33,000 units sold, down 48%. It's the second biggest projected fall on the chart's top 50 behind only Beyonce's Cowboy Carter, which is down 60%, okay? Wow, okay, this is crazy, oh my gosh, okay? Uh, people are saying what she did wants to follow in Beyonce's footsteps, okay? Um, now, me low-key, I think this is like, you know, this is bad. I mean, like, okay, <laughs> all right, like, second week 33,000 you all may say oh my gosh that's actually good you know it's actually stable it's stable um stable is not a 48 percent decline <laughs> stable is like a one percent decline or maybe like a five percent increase but stable that this song if this album is not stable in the charts imagine what it's going to be like in two weeks it might be off the charts in two weeks this is just this this is not good okay this is not good um low-key no shade I think in order for her to boost her album numbers or whatever, she needs to go ahead and drop the deluxe version of the album and drop the music videos. Like, no shade. Like, it's time to work. But this is what happens when you don't drop your, um, you know, music videos when it's time. Well, actually, no. She did drop music videos prior to the album coming out, and it still didn't work out. It still didn't go work out in her favor, unfortunately. Okay? It's like... I just feel bad at this point. Like, what can she do at this point? Like, what do y'all think Megan can do to now boost her album numbers? Because it's like, does she have to get another Beyonce feature? Like, does she need to get, like, does she need to ride Beyonce's D all the way until her career is over to maintain success? I mean, it's just like, what's going on, okay? Like I said, she does have a viral song on TikTok, but it's not converting into album sales or album streams. You know, people are only going to be streaming that song about one or two times. And then after that, we're not tuning into it, you know, because let me tell you why. The song that's going viral right now does not match the overall aesthetic of her new album. So, like, I'm going to play the song, right, from TikTok. And then once I go back to your album and I hear the rest of the album and it's just booty, 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 you know, coochie, coochie, coochie. I'm thick, I'm fat. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to watch the rest of the album now. I'm not going to tune in because, like, you're going viral for this one sound on TikTok. I stream your album. Don't match. No streams. No streams. Okay, so that's also a downside of making music that isn't cohesive at all. And like, it's just, it's not, I mean, it's cohesive for the wrong reasons, but just not good. Just not good. Okay, let's move on to this next topic, okay? Okay, y'all. Mm, what's going on? <laughs> all right, let me get some water real quick. Anyway, y'all, moving on to this next topic. I'm going to go ahead and get into Miss Ice Spice, okay? Ice Spice, child, it seems like she finally has gotten herself another hit y'all she has gotten herself another hit like she is going viral on youtube her newest her newest song um did it first with central c is performing pretty well on the charts um it debuted with over a million plus streams on spotify um the music video it has over four million views in just two days versus her latest song fat but only got three million views in two weeks which is so embarrassing um actually i think yeah um, but yes, y'all, how y'all feel about that? What's y'all, what's, what's y'all opinion? What's y'all opinion, okay? Everybody is blaming, um, Central C for the success of this newest song, okay? Um, people are saying, oh, Central C is the reason why she got a hit because, you know, Ice Spice, you know, she's falling off now. She has to use a new sidekick to get her sales and streams up. Um, low-key, no shade, but I agree. <laughs> I agree. I think low-key, like, Ice Spice needed to have this, like, PR moment to get her career up. And, like... Y'all may think I'm being delusional. Oh my gosh, what do you mean? The song is good. The song is not, is not that good. The song is not that good. I mean, like, the song is like one minute and 30 seconds. Like, I mean, you you telling me the song is that good? It's not, okay? And also, like, she's going viral because, um, you know, Central C cheated on her, cheated on his girlfriend with Ice Spice. So the song itself is about cheating. So people are listening to the song, trying to figure out what's going on, what's T. Like, it's more so like PR, 
okay? It's no way Ice Spice is posted up with this, like, all of a sudden she has a boyfriend in two days, and now they have a song together that's going viral. You cannot tell me it was not perfectly curated by her team, okay? And all of a sudden there's cheating rumors going around. Like, baby, this is all paid. It's all paid promo. Pay pr yeah, y'all paying the blogs. Y'all paying the blogs, okay? Uh, but low-key, no shade, I feel like Ice Spice needs this, though. She needs this. Oh, yeah, she needs this moment. She needs this Central C, you know, cheating scandal, relationship PR moment to save her career. Because her career was on a, like, you know, the playground slide that be real steep, but it's, like, metal and it's hot and it burn your legs. She needed that because her career was just like that damn slide. It was sliding the fuck down and burning. It was hot. Like, it was, she was melting. It was like the ice was melting, like, literally. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. So Ice Spice is now having to rely on gimmicks to sell her music now. Okay, don't be surprised. Her album comes out in less than two weeks. Like, y'all are acting like this is not all, like, perfectly curated. It's all a part of the marketing scheme. A fake relationship with a fake cheating scandal uh, with some sorry-ass one-minute and 30-second song about how you're cheating in the song. It's just, it's too perfectly curated for me. And I hate corny marketing. I hate corny PR. And, like, the only people who are going to fall for this is, like, middle schoolers who like Ice Spice and Central C. Oh, my gosh, they're dating. Oh, my God. I'm too grown for the, the games. I'm too grown for the BS. I see through it. I see through it. But, child, in this day and age, people are doing whatever they can to maintain their career, maintain their income, maintain their money. So, you know, I can't blame her, honestly. I mean, like, she's just trying to make sure that she continues to make it and stuff. Congratulations on your new song going viral. Um, your new music is actually getting some traction because your last music was flopping. Uh, but, yes, congratulations, Ice Spice. Let's move on to this next topic. Well, well, well. Moving on to this next topic, I'm going to go ahead and get into Nicki Minaj. In case you all do not know, but the Kids' Choice Awards okay, has recently just been aired, okay? Um, tell me how I'm supposed to breathe with no air, no air, no air. It's so deep, so deep. Um, Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice's Barbie World, all right, has won <laughs> favorite music collaboration at the 2024 Kids' Choice Awards, okay? Um... I'm seeing some backlash. I'm seeing some comments saying, why are kids allowed to even vote for this song? Um, you know, the, the song has vulgar language, inappropriate topics. Um, you know, people are just confused, okay? Uh, it wasn't even, like, supposed to be for kids. But, like, me personally, I'm not mad that it won. Because to me, Nikki winning a Kids' Choice Award 20 years into her career, almost 20 years, it shows how she is still influencing another generation. It shows that she's still influencing an entire new audience of people who, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like that's a whole new audience of people. The Kids' Choice, like, that's like Gen Alpha. Like, the people who are like, what, 10, 11, 12, like, they're still hearing about Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? Like... Some people, like, typically at a certain point of their career, they start reaching the new generation because they become so relevant. Nikki is still getting Kids' Choice Awards, you know, like, almost 20 years into her career. That's crazy. And some of y'all may say, oh, um, we blame Ice Spice for this. We blame Ice Spice. Ice Spice is... No, I'm sorry. Ice Spice ain't... ain't no. I, Ice Spice don't got no core fans to be voting for her like that. The Kids' Choice Awards, you vote, okay? Ice Spice's fan base is not, like, she losing monthly listeners by, by the second. Okay, she has to rely on gimmicks to sell music now. No, we can't give her the props for that, okay? Um, Nikki is still in demand, even with the new generation, okay? And if you all don't see that, what I'm saying here, I mean, I don't know I don't know how to explain it to you. I mean, it's obvious. The Kids' Choice Awards, like, hello? Like, I mean, it's not a major award show like that, you know? I mean, it is. It is for kids, but, you know, it is what it is, okay? Um, let's, stop, let's stop all the backlash and, oh, this song isn't appropriate. The, 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 the song isn't appropriate. Okay. Okay, like you acting like when you wasn't a child, you wasn't screaming, my neck, my back. Okay, you acting like you wasn't singing, he got a big ego. Whole time, you rapping about dick and you five. Like you was doing appropriate things at that age as well. Stop. I know it's bad. I mean, I know it's like normalized, but it's still bad. Like it's still bad. Like you should not be rapping about those things at that age. I know. I understand. I get it. I know. <laughs> I know. Trust me. I was like nine years old screaming Anaconda lyrics. Like, I, trust me. I understand. Like I was like literally like, I was literally saying... <laughs> Uh, my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns hunt at nine, okay? 
I was screaming at them lyrics to the top of my lungs, okay? So, you know, I mean, I'm not saying, like, you know, it's okay, but it's normalized, but it shouldn't be. I, it's really, it's a really weird, like, thing that I'm talking about here. But, yes, comment down below how you feel about that. Let's move on to the next topic. Congratulations, Nicki Minaj, on your new KCA award. That's the big deal, baby. That's the big deal. Tell me how I'm supposed to breathe with no air. No air, no air. Okay, y'all, moving on to our next topic. Um, we have Rihanna now on the menu, okay? Now, Rihanna has recently just made some history because she has now officially tied Drake, okay, for having the most songs on Spotify with over 1 billion streams, okay? Congratulations on that. Congrats, 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 okay? Um, she has, they both have 16. A billion songs on Spotify with 16. Ooh, that's crazy, child. That's crazy. Imagine having a billion songs. Oh, my God. <laughs> Imagine having 16 songs with over a billion streams. Okay, half y'all can't do that. And mind you, Rihanna ain't released music in what? Since Barack Obama's presidency. <laughs> she ain't released music since Barack Obama was in office. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Um, but low key, deep down inside though, um, I can't I hope that soon she surpasses Drake. I feel like Drake has like let all these stats and stuff get to his ego, and he moves now really like weird i don't know i don't know how to explain this to y'all i don't know how to explain this to y'all but it's like ever since these stats got to his head ever since he's become like you know the it rapper for males and stuff like i mean it rapper in period but like he has almost like abandoned like his core values and his core like family such as you know young money and like it's like he just almost has gotten too big-headed and you can kind of tell that he moves differently now he acts like he is too cool for school like he's not humble to me he's just not humble i don't know how to explain this to y'all but like he just gives me like that energy of like okay i made it like you know i surpassed my peers now and now i don't have to do anything to show respect to them now anymore it's like it's weird you know what i mean i think it's just kind of interesting to me it's interesting to see um but yes rihanna surpassed that man Rihanna, I'm going to give you, like, what? I'm going to give you, like, what? Two years? No, no, no. I'm going to give you, like, eight months. Because, you know, Rihanna music is streamed all day, every day. I'm going to give you, like, about five to eight months to get your new song. Um, get, to get you another song out of your catalog to get to a billion. Because we, 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 we need to surpass Drake. Okay? Drake needs to be surpassed. Like, right fuck, now. Right now. I'm not playing with right, y'all. Right, 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 right now. Okay? Be a comment down below. Hi, I feel about that. Congratulations, Rihanna, on your recent achievement on Spotify. Um, 16 songs over a billion. Wow, girl. I know, I, know Spotify, I know Spotify is paying you good money. Baby, I know Rihanna could live off her Spotify streams alone and be good for a while. I, I promise you that. I promise you that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Moving on to Drake. Um, Like I just told y'all, I was just talking about this, literally. Um, And now as I'm like, you know, filming that portion, I open up the news, you know, and like it seems like sources are reporting that Lil Wayne has now been seen you know dancing to they not like us aka a kendrick lamar to drake diss track i repeat little wayne is singing the diss track to drake what is going on here trump getting shot can Lil wayne singing drake diss tracks i mean what, what, what? like megan album flopping i mean like what's going on i mean like Cardi face still botch. It's just too much tea right now. It's too much tea. Like, what's going on, y'all? Like, I don't know what's going on. But what's going on between Lil Wayne and Drake? I mean, like, oh my God. I was like, hold up. What's going on? Now, I feel like low-key behind the scenes. Like, I, I've been telling y'all. I just said this, y'all. I just said this. Drake lately has been acting too good for his peers and people who he, like, came up with. I've been telling y'all that. I feel like there's something going on behind the scenes where Drake is just acting so big-headed. And now... Everybody around him is getting tired of it. He fell out with Rick Ross. Like, literally, Wayne now, obviously. I don't know. Maybe Wayne was trolling. I don't know. But I just... What's going on? But what do y'all think is really going on right now in the in, in the streets of hip-hop? Okay? I feel like maybe behind the scenes, Drake and Wayne kind of like... Maybe they're arguing right now. Maybe they're having a rough moment. You know, all... I'm not saying they have, like, beef. I'm not saying it's beef. I mean, like, Drake, Wayne, Nicki, all, th all three of them, they're family. You know, they're family. And even if something is going on right now, they will always get over it. I mean, it's just, like, you can't... Sometimes, some people you meet in life, you all are destined to be together. You all are destined to be together forever till, till the end of time. But I think that this situation right here is just a case of maybe, like, okay, we having a rough patch right now. Maybe it's some rough tea. Maybe something crazy happened down the line. We just don't know, okay? We don't know. Um, 
But I want them to get back to cool. I don't want I don't want no Wayne and Drake beef. I'm sorry. As much as I don't like Drake right now, I don't want Wayne to be beefing with Drake. I, I'm sorry. Like, why is he singing Not Like Us? Why is Wayne singing that song? Okay? I don't know. Okay? Um, he had his OVO chain on as well. And, you know, he was screaming, they not like us. But people are now starting to turn the light to Lil Wayne. People are saying that actually it's Lil Wayne who's being weird. Because as of recently, Lil Wayne had Lil Kim on his um, show. Why are you inviting Nicki up to the show? You now cool, cool with Kendrick Lamar. Like, why are you buddy, buddy with all your men your mentees ops? It's just weird to me. Like, you literally, like, help raise these artists to be who they are today. And now you're, like, almost jealous of them. Like, people feel like Wayne is jealous of Nicki and Wayne for this. I mean, I'm sorry. People feel like um, Wayne is jealous of Nicki and Drake for their success. I don't know. It's just weird. But I don't think Wayne is jealous, though. Wayne has had so much, like, influence on the rap culture, like, for many, many years. Like, I don't think anybody who would, like, Put on like many people for you know to have a career is jealous of them i mean i think he's more so like happy for them you know so i don't know i think it's just some weird tea maybe wayne was trolling i don't know but it's just some tea i don't know and also y'all look um wayne and drake was at the white party and they were nowhere seen together like they weren't even no pictures together like it's just crazy i don't it's just weird i don't know like it's crazy i don't know um but Wayne also said that Glorilla was the only one who came to talk to him at the white party. Mind you, Drake was there as well. It's just too much tea. Like, the tea is getting spicy. Like, y'all are like, let me, let me find out it's a Wayne versus Drake beef. I'm like, ooh, ooh. Child, people are hating this new Katy Perry comeback, right? In case you all do not know, to all my pop fans out there, my pop watchers, um, a lot of you all were excited for Katy Perry's return. I saw a lot of comments of y'all saying, oh my gosh, I'm excited. Um, Katy Perry was blackballed. I'm, I'm excited to see her get into this new era of music. Um, Katy Perry, Katy Perry, Katy Perry. Because as you all know, Katy Perry has been flopping like a fish out of water. Like for the past like five years, her music has been going nowhere. I promise you, nowhere. Um, so now she's back, okay? Her new song, um, Woman's World, has came out and people hate it. People are tired of it. People think the song is just corny. The song has dropped, y'all. Okay, listen, the song has came out, and on its second day of being out, it has dropped from all the charts on Spotify. That's a problem. Katy Perry, that's a problem. That's a major issue. Um, the song also has more dislikes than likes on the music video of the song. It's like, whoa. <laughs> Y'all said, Katy, what? Who are you? Like, Katy, no. Katy, no. That's what, that's, that's what y'all said. Um, now, me personally, the song is okay. It is kind of corny, but Katy Perry has always been known for those, like, you know, colorful, corny, you know, playful type of aesthetic. So I'm not really, like, mad at that, but I'm more so mad at the execution of the song. It, the execution of it being a fake feminist, like, oh my gosh, like, <gasps> I'm so here for women, all that rah-rah, right? But it's like, it just comes across as, like, a tacky cop-out for a hit. It's like, okay, Katie, you could have gave us something more flavorful, something more, like, impactful, but you, like, opted out for a woman anthem. Like, this sounds like a song from, like, I don't know, uh, a Pixar kids movie cartoon 3D animated film. Like, I just don't think it fits your vibe right now. Like, you, what, almost 20? You 20 years in the game. No, you're not, you're not 20 years in the game, are you? She, like... She's like 18 years in the game, right? And you still making music that sounds like it was released in 2010? No. 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 And I love Katie. I love Katie. That's my girl. I told y'all I love Katie now. But I just can't get into this new song like that. Um, it's okay. I told you, it's okay. Or will I scream it? Maybe, maybe not. But I just can't really like find myself being a fan of it. I like it, but I can't like, oh my God, this song is so good. I can't do all that. I can't do it, okay? But yes, comment down below what's your opinion on this, what's your opinion on that. All right, child, moving on to Miss Normani. As you all know, Normani has dropped um, her newest album, Dopamine, as you all know. And, you know, the album is out, but it's not making much noise like that. I mean, people are streaming it. People who like the album are streaming it, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to its overall promotion and overall, like, you know, boost in terms of, like, the society and, like, the overall culture of people, like, tuning into Normani's music, nobody's playing that shit, okay? So people want Cardi B. And Normani to drop a remix to one of her tracks on the album, okay? Cardi B fans are now on social media, um, you know, making a campaign for this. Because as you all know, um, 
Normani's most recent hit that we all know is Wildside and the feature Cardi B on it, okay? So they want to have Cardi B featured on Normani's album. They feel like this is going to make, you know, a big difference for the album's, you know, promotion, all that rah rah, okay? Now, okay, me personally, no. Why do y'all want this so bad? No. We already had Wildside. Wildside came and gone, what, three years ago, okay? Let Normani get her own self up there, okay? She can't keep using Sam Smith. She can't use Cardi B, okay? She can't use Ariana Grande, okay? All these big name collabs that she has, she cannot keep using big name collabs to keep her name afloat, all right? Um, and she only done it a few times, but most of her biggest Khalid, most of her big songs are from other featured artists. Khalid, Love Lies, um, Sam Smith, um, Dance With A Stranger, Wild Side, Cardi B, um, also that Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj song that she did a few years back. No. Normani has to get her own feet up and like make her own hits, okay? All of her big songs are from other featured artists. I'm just saying, like, no shade. Like, it's like she can't get a hit other than motivation for herself, okay? Let her try. Let her let her go. She has it. She has the potential to be what she needs to be, all right? Stop trying to, like, y'all always want to put training rules on Normani. Stop putting training rules on her. Let her flop. Let her learn from this experience. I feel like failure is one of the biggest lessons in life because you are able to know what you have done wrong. Let the, let, let the dopamine era flop. Let her songs flop. Let her music videos flop. Let it flop because now she's going to be able to have something to refer back to when she's doing her next project. Now she's going to be able to look back, okay, I did this with dopamine. I can't do this moving forward because it didn't work out for me. Okay, you know, you see what I'm saying? But yes, comment down below. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but you know, I want to hear you all's opinions so bad. I do. I want to hear it. Okay, let's get into it in the comment section. Uh, but yes, y'all, that's all I have for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tap the bell so you can get an alert every single time I post a video because you don't want to miss out on, on my content. Like, <laughs> I'm managing two channels, baby, too. In case y'all do not know, check the video description down below for my, um, you know, second channel. Okay, it's it's called Juice. C-U-L-T Juice. All right, y'all, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Be safe, y'all.